Hello guys, my name is Asmarin and this is 49ers News and yes, just finished work, I've just got straight home and I've just seen this. That's right, the 49ers signed former Jaguars wide receiver Marski Lee. Um, this is Nick Shook on uh, NFL.com forward slash news. He's the around the NFL writer. So yeah, let's have a read. So it says, Marski Lee re returned to the NFL include a new location for Santa Clara. Uh, the former second round pick signed with the 49ers on Monday, uh, NFL uh, Network Insider Ian Rappaport reported. The Niners later confirmed the uh, altercation and added that it, it has waived uh, wide out Austin Pro in a uh, corresponding move. Uh, Lee last played in 2019, his final season with the Jaguars in a campaign that was shortened by a shoulder uh, uh, alignment. The USC product was limited to just six games, uh, four targets and three receptions. Uh, a meek output that followed a season in which Lee didn't appear in a single game due to a significant knee injury suffered during the 2018 preseason. Uh, the combination of a lack of uh, availability uh, production lead to his release in April of 2020. Lee... Uh, Latched on with the Patriots via a one-year deal signed uh, eight days after his release, but he never appeared in a game because of his decision to opt out of the 2020 season due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, again, a free agent, Lee has found a new uh, suitor in a team that has proven itself willing to kick the tires on players uh, looking for second chances. At his peak, Lee was a 63 catch, 851 yard receiver who made for one and a one made for one half of a dynamite receiving duo with Alan Robinson in Jacksonville. In seasons which Lee has played in 14 or more games, he's recorded at least 56 catches and uh, 702 yards. The problem is that only happened twice in his career, 2016 and 2017. Since then, it's been nothing but a tower of frustration and repeated visits to the team, uh, to the team doctor. With a year off as a result of a pandemic and just 29 years old, he turns 30 in November. The lower risk addition of Lee could prove to be a savoury one or just another temporary blip. Okay, so what can I say about that report? Um, it's a 50-50, but we've got him, so let's see what he can do. If he if he does wonders for the club, as wonders for the team, sorry, uh, wonders for being a good wide receiver then I can't see anything bad with it. I mean, yeah, okay, he's had injuries, but, you know, try I say, Kittle, Bosa, Grappolo. What can you say? Um, you opted out because of the COVID and stuff, but COVID's slowly going. It's slowly leaving, guys. And it's, um, well, hopefully, you know, people taking the jabs, still going well. Um even in England, people are taking the jabs. I think it's more like 20 million people have now taken like a second jab or, or the first and second. Not too sure, but a one or two year deal, maybe. But it's like a 50 50. It can go well, but then if something happens, it happens. But I hope it touch wood, it don't happen. But I hope he does wonders for us. I really do. I think, you know, on that is a 50 50 thing. But, you know, decent wide receivers is what you need. So, yeah, um, hopefully he does well for us. Hopefully he goes well. It's good to have him aboard. And, um, yeah, that's it for that report. Leave a comment, guys. You tell me what you think. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Uh, will he show his physical hardened strength or will something happen to him and he goes down and out? Let me know about, uh, down in the comments below, guys. You tell me. Um, thanks for guys for watching. Uh, thanks for the 32 subscribers. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, much humble and grateful. I'm fortunate to have you, uh, have you guys in, and if you're new, subscribe, so we'll do a lot more 49ers news and 49ers stuff and uh, online streaming and stuff like that, and um, yeah guys, uh, thanks for guys for watching, I'll see you guys on the next video.